Hi, this is Ajahn Spencer for my YouTube channel, The Webmaster, with Equid e-commerce widget versus WooCommerce attributes, product attributes. So as you can see here, we have product attributes, and you can see the maker, the temple of origin, year of issue. These are called product attributes. So if you can see on the tabs you have general attributes options gallery and you can see here's a general and so this is the product we take a preview of the product here and you can see this is the product and so this product is in equid e-commerce widget you can see here these transparent waterproof casing those are options but these here where you see maker temple of origin year of issue what I'm highlighting in gray now these are called product attributes right so you take a look at those all the different things I've written in as attributes those here are different things those are options so we're going to look today at these product attributes right so you have the maker boom posa corn Temple of Origin, what I'm selecting here. Maker is the attribute, and the Temple of Origin, and Year of Issue, Magical Effects. You can see I wrote Mahala, Mahasane, Meta, Mahaniyom. Those are uh, terminologies of each attribute. So Magical Effects, Recommended Uses. The recommended uses are the English versions of the Magical Effects, actually, just to let you know. These might be other attributes. It might or might be uh, type of, might be T-shirt, uh, type of T-shirt. Uh, Temple of Origin might be colors, red, blue, green. Mm, year of Issue might be size, so you might have uh, medium. Mm to state what kind of attributes to the product you, you have here. And this is on Equid. You can see myequid.com. That's my store. So this is Equid e-commerce widget. This here is the body of the... This is the in the product editor. You can see here, special on crew. That's written in the product editor. We click on preview product. You can see here, special on crew. So that comes in the product editor. But this piece, the attributes is in a different tab which is here you see I click on attributes and this is where I add the attributes you can see maker temple of origin year of issue and so on and so uh, you create these attributes somewhere else where you can see here manage attributes that's another page it's not done on the fly within this page you create these attributes such as maker and temple of origin and then in each product they will appear here under the attributes tab and you can add into each text field, as you can see, to the right of each attribute maker. I have added Luang Po Sa Korn of Wat Nong Grab, and so on. Yeah. So you just have a look at those different attributes which I have created. There's quite a lot here. I'm a little bit more over the top than most people. Most people will just add two or three or four attributes, relevant attributes. You can see here, magical effects, put a comma between each one. And they will just be printed out as text in the product when you see them. In this case, I've set them to appear under the product thumbnail, the product image. There's another setting where you can make them appear to the right, yeah, or to the bottom. So, anyway, these products will appear as simple text, yeah, temple of origin, year of issue, weight, type of amulet, and so on. Uh, the weight, as you see, that's nothing to do with this weight. That weight was with shipping prices when you add the weights and it will calculate. But this weight I wrote here so the customer can see it, how much the weight is. Because this, the customer won't see it. That's just for the shipping costs to be calculated. You have to add the weights to the product. So it's a separate thing. And that's just to let you know how, why I did that. Why I have written the weight here as a product attribute is to make the weight visible to the customer, because in Equid it's not visible from just adding it into the shipping weights. So let's have a look at the product here now in Equid. <coughs> you can just wait for it to load, because in Equid it takes quite a while to load. It's on their server, not 
on I've inserted their widget into my WordPress site and I have to wait for their server to update or to load. And here we have the attributes to this product in my web page, in my product. As you can see, they're not links, they're just uh, straight uh, normal text, dead, what I call dead text. So you can see here, Loom Porsar Corn. I actually have a, a category, a store category for this monk, of this maker, Loom Porsar Corn. But this Lumposacon text in the attribute does not link to the product category, of course. Well, of course, actually, I believe that should be able to do that. Which, when we move to the WooCommerce Versus version, which I'm going to show you shortly, you can see, you see here, I have a category called Lumposacon. But the product attribute does not link to this category. And so, that seems like it actually you, you wouldn't expect that to happen. But just wait till I take you to WooCommerce. So here you can see the maker, Lumposa Corn. It's just a dead text. So I could haven't found a way yet to read if I've created a category. What WooCommerce does is basically when you add an attribute like this, it creates an archive page of any product which has this terminology, Lung Posa Corn, or Big, or Red, or Blue, or T-shirt, or whatever you want to create within the attributes, you can create an archive page. And so this word Lumposacon will appear as a link in WooCommerce. It won't take me to the product category, rather it will make a product archive, an attribute archive, and any any product which has the same terms, such as Lumposacon, added, uh, added to the attribute. And here we are now in WooCommerce. We change now to another proper product. So here is look at the attributes in WooCommerce. You can see here I have maker, materials, and so on. And you can see here I have the the maker of amulet, Lumpo Chamnan. This isn't Lumpo Samkorn, this is a, a different product. But you can see I have the maker. And I've set these attributes to create archives. So we're going to save the product and the attributes. We'll save the attributes, save the product. And you can see them here. Yeah. The attributes are closed. You can see they're closed here. You can open them up by clicking on, on each attribute I've added, mm, such as materials and maker. And here is the attributes page in WooCommerce, for which I've just been added, adding attributes and terms to my products. You can see I've already created some attributes and I've created some terms. Yeah. You can create a new attribute here, and here is the important bit. You can see to enable archives. And so if you enable archives in the product on the front end, any of these terms of the product ad attributes, you set it to text, will appear like tags, like link tags, and they will create uh, SEO-friendly URLs to archive pages of all of the terms you can see within each attribute, such as you can see here, what I'm highlighting in gray. Yeah. So you can't do this in Equid but you can do this in WooCommerce. Yeah, Let me just have a look at that. And so we go back to the product now. Open up one of the attributes. You can see have said sacred brass. Now right now, that was a manually created one. It did not exist in the attributes, as you could see just a minute ago. So I'm just going to add it now from the maker's attribute which I created in the attributes page which will be reusable once I've clicked added sacred brass you see it's already added itself here it's auto refreshed and sacred brass is already added yeah you can see it's already there sacred brass it's already existent yeah so I, I added it already, and it was automatically added to the database and added to the list of terms within my pre-created attributes. So every time I say sacred brass, when I add that as a term to any new product attribute, it will be added to the archive page in WooCommerce in my front end of my store. 
Yeah. You can see sacred brass is already there. With a nice slug for the SEO friendly URL. So let's look now at the product. This is quite nice too, the zoom aspect. You don't have that in Equid, which I also very much like to zoom in and look on. The customers like that. Additional information is where you see the attributes. So now you can see some of them already appear as links because I've told WooCommerce to make archive pages. So I've only just started this. I only have one product with Sacred Brass, one product for wealth, and so on. So you'll only see this one amulet. But if I'd added three or four or five or however many, however many products with that attribute term, then this page, you can see this URL is totally uh, SEO-friendly, a very powerful SEO-friendly URL created on this archive page. Uh, it's an attributes archive page which WooCommerce has created for me. And so you won't see that in Equid Attributes at all. And you can see these are product tags, which it works very similar to the attribute archives. Attributes can create SEO-friendly archive pages. Let's find another product now. See this I just added before. So we go down, look at the attributes. This one only has one links. But uh, they'll all be coming links as I start to create these attributes and terms. These mercy charm, seduction, and other words will become links and will lead to archive pages. And the same goes for product tags and product categories. Uh, just look at this URL, how friendly and short it is, and how powerful keywords are placed in there. It's absolutely fantastic for Google. Yeah? And so, um, that's absolutely great. This is a... Uh, Ajante Charangsi, that is an attribute, the maker of the amulet. Huh? You can see Ajante Charangsi is a link there. These will also, the magic powers, I'm going to make them into linkable attributes with archive pages, just like the blue Ajante Charangsi you can see here, yeah, which is already created as a, an archive page attribute. And so if I add four more amulets from Ajante Charangsi, the maker, when they click, when the customer clicks on this link, it will. It's like a product category, but it's not. It's an archive of attributes, completely separate to uh, these things here on the right, which says amulets by focal point. It's actually product tags, so I can tag a product when I'm adding the product, or I can add a product to categories. I can add attributes, and I can tag the product. All of these three aspects of WooCommerce will create archives. We click now on Guman, you see. I have f four products already added which are Guman related. And so when I click on the product tag Guman, you see already four products within the archive page. You look at this URL and you can see just how SEO friendly it is and how powerful it is. In the amulet world, Many people are using these terminologies to search for amulets on the internet, and these are very readable by Google, be they product tags, cat, uh, product categ categories, or attribute arch uh, archive pages. Here are the product tags, these are the categories, and here are the, you can see, already have uh, amulets for wealth, and so on. We can put the name of the maker in there, Lumposacon, you see, we looked at that on Equid. And if we click on Lumposacon, now it's a category. You can see I already have three products, at least here within this category archive, created by WordPress and WooCommerce. And if you look at the URL, you will see it's very SEO powerful have to be careful not to let attributes, tags, and categories have the same URL. So I, I try to spell things differently or give different terminologies. But uh, product tags, is anyway, it's on a different, it will be on a slightly different URL. But I don't want to be creating double content too much. Although Google doesn't really care in this case because it's products, not blog posts. And Google actually, DeepMind does differentiate with the X HTML of a product to a blog post. But this is extremely readable. You see, this is a Loy Onk tag, not a category. And so, you know, go back to Equid and you can see these attributes. 
They're just blank links. They do not create archive pages. They're just dead. But you just have these store categories. And if you look at the URL in Equid here, just look at this really long SEO unfriendly URL. You've got exclamation marks and hashtags. You don't have the category name. You have a number. You don't have the product name as a keyword. You have a number, which is terrible SEO. It's completely unreadable as Guman or uh, Luang Po Sa Khan category. It doesn't read it at all. You have to create a WordPress page and insert the Equid cat shop category in that page and write loads of text in WordPress to get that in. But not in WooCommerce. Yeah, you just these product tags, attributes. I mean, product tags and categories, being able to create archive pages is already great SEO. And I know it works because I've seen really great, my pages come up and my products come up very powerful, high in Google search. But uh, I just found out about these product attributes also creating archive pages. And all I can say is I'm completely seduced by WooCommerce compared to Equid as far as the SEO is concerned for product attributes, product categories, and product tags, and SEO-friendly URLs. And so um, Equid e-commerce widget versus WooCommerce for WordPress in the sense of SEO, product uh, attributes, tags, and categories, I'm afraid that I think WooCommerce wins outright. And so, at the end of this, round three, Equid zero, WooCommerce ten. So Equid is KO'd completely as far as product attributes, and categories and tags and SEO-friendly URLs are concerned. Ajahn Spencer for the Webmaster Channel, signing off.